healer. Like, they can even grab themselves a Dazzle. Oh, he is banned. Uh, but if they grab themselves a Chen here, there'd be so much stability in this LGD lineup that if, unless CIS are walking remaining. around with, like, Medusa 6 slotted, Radiant like, they might have damage for everybody. And I think Medusa because you can switch everybody. Uh, yeah, the, also the other thing about, about the two picks so far, or even the three picks, they're all magical damage. So if LGD ever gets to the point where they be in the course, Clockwork, Dragonite, and whatever, maybe Luna as the last pickup, and three triple BKBs, oh. CIS is really, Actually, really that, in trouble. That Luna pickup, you are so right on that one. If that does come in... Ten seconds remaining. I almost want to call GG off the back of the draw straight away. <laughs> okay, okay the there's a more fling. Alright, there's physical damage coming in. But, but th this, this is this is too late of a Luna. Like, the more fling is going to get shut down in positioning. If it's going to be a Luna, the upside is LGD have very little control over the. Morph. Uh, they don't have enough like stunts, but seconds, if you're gonna go for like the push kind of line, where you have like these big tanky heroes on the front lines, and then you throw Five like seconds, you're pushing power, which is a Luna, into the mix-up, then you're just gonna melt down towers, and Morphling's gonna get zoned out. Yeah. Time. And the same thing will happen for the Puck. And Puck hates glaives. The second a glaive hits him, it's like shit. Can't blink dagger. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, I got hook shot. Damn it to hell. It gets really, really difficult. Bang. And even then, like, what are you going to do when you get into the later portion of the game and Rook starts fighting the ability to steal Morphling's Morph? If he can do that, you've technically got four strength heroes for LGD. You've got to get through. The, the only downside to picking up Morphling, and I, I do think Ten that Morphling is still a great really? choice, is that... Sorry, not Morphling, the Luna. Yeah. Is that the Morphling could steal LGD's the Luna. Get the entire pick. team a ton of damage. But the Morphling can also steal... DK right now, if he gets into a Frost Dragon form, that's or, or even an AC. Problem. Yeah, that, uh, I guess that's why Morphling is picked up as a, not exactly a counter, but you know, something in the game against the DK. But yeah, we'll, we'll have, I mean, LGD has their definite, choi definite choice of whatever carry they want. Actually, could actually do something else, which it won't be what he steals, and I'm thinking Lone Druid is the last one. Okay. Uh, 10 seconds like remaining. You, like, you're not going to be able to replicate the bear. The thing about Lone Druid is he, he generally just wants solo remaining. experience. I guess you put DK Sailing Claw in mid and Long Druid off lane. They're gonna go they for Weaver. Weaver. Radiant Which team pick. In played decently well, and I think in the first game it was. Yep. He ended up getting this really early Lincoln, so it was like, okay, cool. Like, you couldn't touch him. Mm -hmm. That was that was their Weaver from LGD. The thing about, the dangerous about a Weaver pick is that CIS has nothing but nukes right now. You just get your Weaver burst it down. Lincoln doesn't block it, blink hoof stomp. Yeah. Hoof stomp is not targeted. And they got best control as well in the early game because you got the puck, uh, like if he gets a blink dagger into a silence, where Weaver can't do anything with his abilities. Yeah. Because he, he won't have his Lincolns and he won't have his BKB. Oh. Radiant Team Ban. Radiant Team Ban. Radiant Team Ban. Radiant Team Ban. Now, laning wise, talk to me laning wise, man. Is this a Sky Rat off with the AA and the Morph Link together? Or do they just play it safe because the awful GD is Yao. Uh, he's really gonna have a hard enough time in the bottom lane. Does, that, does CIS just go, you know, I think we can get a oh, that's fine for us. Do they accept that? I think if you pick Skyraft, you're looking for kills early. I think you crashed Prepare again. For battle. <laughs> I'm fine. For some reason doesn't let Luminous out of the trough screen. The, the, the computer, there's something seriously wrong with it. Just reconnect in. Uh, I'm getting close to the two. Alright. Oh. Yeah, but okay, so, so think, like, okay, it's, it's gonna be a safe lane. It's gonna be a safe lane, demons. For the Morphling, you're saying? Uh, no, for, for the Skyrath. I wanted to know whether the Skyrath would end up. Like, would you try and go aggro? Would you try and shut down the Weaver? Because we know Rabbit is who's playing the, the, the Weaver in this game. He's gonna get a lot of farm. A lot of space, and June can do nothing against him. I guess the upside you could say to yourself is that Weaver is one of those arrows, like you said, that needs so much farm before he gets off the ground. So even if you're not fighting him, 30 seconds to you have a lot of opportunity to send your Skyraph Mage up and start, what is it called, Ancient Seal? I think that's the... Ancient Seal? Yeah. Name of his silence? Yep. And the cool thing is that it comes off in such of a instant cast, almost. So it really sets up of your other stuff. Yeah. It's actually like, what's the animation for that? I don't even think that, I haven't even seen it. I think one. he like raises staff up or something, but it's so, it's like really, really short. Yeah. You're able to get an instant the silence off, begins. then the concussive shot, which was also buffed up recently. Yeah. So normally a hero who is so quick 
at moving, can't move at all. Uh, that's that's just not a situation you want to be in as a winner. An early game, if you're a clockwork, and you, you, know, you jump in, you cog, that's a free setup ultimate for, uh, for Mr. Skyraph Mage. Black just got the worst possible thing that could happen to him in the middle lane. One, he lost his block. Yeah. Two, and if his room was picked up, a he he underneath the vision, the observer ward. So he knows he can't come in close. Yeah. Well, that's better than not knowing you can't come in close. That's true. Yeah. But then again, like, okay, he doesn't have waveform because he went the street. Actually, look how he much just, agility he's got. <laughs> he's got like 400 life points. He no money for you. He's so far out that if Didi does get this Barra Strike off and they're even like breathe fire in range, he's gonna die. But, you know. Uh, they Barra Strike on him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's gonna go Dragon Tail. He's gonna need a strength morphy. <laughs> Which, I mean, they're fine. And then you can He's, he burned through half of his money. He can't waveform now, even if he does hit level 2. And I think once DK hit level 3, he's gonna put that rank into Flame Breath and shoot at the freaking Morphling. <laughs> Just try and zone him out. DD could even have a little bit of a wander underneath that tower, as long as he doesn't take the aggro. Yeah. He could do Bro's that. He's in range for it. The DK is too far away. So he just borrows strikes and arises black back. That means now all the stuns are gone from the SK. Yeah. And they're rotating the Ancient Aperture. This, this has to give me flashbacks to games from uh, the older Rocks Kiss. Uh, like, Goblack just walk in with an Ancient Apparition and go, my mid lane's losing. I'll just give him Chilling Touch so he can catch up. That's... But you sack your Ancient Apparition. Do such a thing. Yeah, he is essentially wasting a minute walking to the mid lane and then back from the mid lane. Oops. And he's not getting experience. Yeah, I was trying to body block up the creep wave at the moment. It's a lot harder, this off lane for Clockwork. Ever since they changed the way the creeps actually interact. That was only Fisher though, you can still body block them with the cogs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, you, you would say that every off lane benefited from, you know, the creep equilibrium closer to the tower, right? Yeah. So. In any SK's case. coming north. They're looking for June. If DDC can get him... And June, oh, he's out too far. That's, that's a kill here. That should be first block. Wait, where is... Okay, Telekinesis is first. Then follow up bar strike, not the best combo. Wolf Stomp will land, but remember the DPS with the Geminate and the last attack from Rubik. One quick Fae Bolt, and the first blood gets spilled. I came here. LDD. At the same time as they try and initiate in towards this middle lane, Lin just gets harassed back by both the Arcane all as well as the Concussive Shot. They can't get close enough to find any type of kills. And even then, Yao is getting up in the face of, in the face of Inflame, who has no more consumables left. He's burned through everything down here on the bottom lane. Yeah, I feel that the... Uh... The mid lane is going so well for GD at this point that it really pr puts pressure on the enemy supports. It's like, you, your mid is screaming, I need ganks, I need gank. Or free up uh, Yao on the bottom. And like you said, in flame out of, uh, out of reserve at this point. Yeah. And he, so, he kind of runs Clockwork back. I mean, Clockwork is so full levels now compared to, like, Puck could just essentially nuke him down once gets to 5 or 6. So Puck should be... Or Yao should be somewhat aware of that, but Yao's gonna hit like, I think, three at the very least yeah. in this particular fight. Denied. If there's a whole, a whole lot of denies from him, yeah, basic three would be it, but yeah. he has uh, 103 points into it. At the same time, you notice know, there's something which we've got to keep in mind. Like, SK helped to win middle lane up against the Morphling. Just I, like, in Vizrun as well as like everything else. I say that Morphling is now actually in front of CS. Uh, you've got D who's about to do a triple stack farm as the Stand King. Keep in mind that like you're still technically run, running a semi-jungle hero yeah. from LGD. And this is something which CIS have to keep in mind when they have an Ancient Apparition with only 54 points of experience. And Skyrath made two and a half levels in. Like he's in for Yal. And the colors go down from Yal. There's actually no room there. They actually lock himself in with his own cogs. And this could be some real trouble. With the Chilling Touch bonus damage, you've got another Arcane. There's no cold bubble in Yal. He gets you can cast his shot to try and slow him down. Puck was all big up. Uh, they are running a little bit high up into the south. They can cut shot as well as the attack will follow, but they will not get the kill. But it's more, it's more time wasted for these port heroes. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's the difference I think we pointed out as we had a big shot about the experience graph. It seems like every single game that GD, uh, not, not this game, but you know, the yeah, game yeah. where we brought up the, the level Dying difference. The, it seems like the MG support does a very good job in terms of timing ahead, or at least staying close to the course. This is a big deal. We're seeing supports do more and more top lane. June gets harassed back a little bit by DDC. Seems like no follow up of any ganks. Yeah, but back in the show, it's going to be DD continuously. He's actually ranked at that sandstorm, which is becoming more and more of a norm now. And uh, he's looking to.
you know, jungle pretty aggressively. Yeah. He, he needs to have the second level just because of the time. It's not even the damage output, even though that does help. It's the fact that you can 100% all the time be inside your sandstorm. Yeah. That, that's what, lets, that right that's what lets you just like just shred through the jungle damn so damn quickly. <laughs> this lie should be his level. Actually, it should be le level four half. Yeah, except this camp. Yeah, looks about right. Personally, when I, I when I do this, the coolest thing is like you hands off the keyboard, look around the map, you know, to have a beverage, go get a drink. One weird thing though is like normally when you do it, I'm surprised in like in here, because you can actually back up because the radius mm -hmm. of your sandstorm, you can actually be up in this position, and you still make them run out of here, but you get more damage as they run up into these regions here. Yeah, it's a little bit more. Uh, but yeah. At the there's same time, it's there's, there's a creep just stuck here for whatever. <laughs> it's, it's okay, guys. Hey, does that actually count for blocking? Because I, if it's we'll see in three seconds. I don't think it will. If it does, SK is gonna be spitting chips. No, it doesn't. Okay. But someone randomly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ultimate scenario right now. You got Huck trying to it through the tree line, and he runs into the stuff. <laughs> Can't get his get himself back out of it. Wait, wait, what? No, no, no. That was meant to be my way out of here. Look at DD now. He just moves over, takes a knock camp. Yeah. But this one is uh, sheer experience by the centaur. Who is uh, yeah. walking well, there Here comes Lin. He's so close. He's in dragon form. He needs a stun and he got it too. Which means the forest strike will now fall. They wait as long as possible. <laughs> so June will get the maximum stun time on him. At the same time, Clockwork goes down the bottom lane. So it looks like Skyrath as well as Kid Flame. He has to phase shift. Phase shift. Yep. There we go. Uh, evades the damage on the way out from the bottom tower. Yeah. He, the reason he tanked a couple of that is that if he phase shift a little bit earlier, that would have been demon tanking power under. Radiance but it's one base armor, fortified. so it's, it's good that he shared the damage a little bit. But meanwhile, tier one top. If you don't see this, right? Rotating the push. Because normally he wants to push his own tower, but obviously he came in the gank and might, well, might as well stay for the push. Yeah, Dyer's considering he uses Dragon Form to get attack. the gank. Yeah. And then Radiance now Black is pushing mid. No, they'll, they'll take this. Like, Black's pushing the mid lane. It's a more like. Radiance pushing top a tower. tower has fallen. It's like water Not rock, very water, fast. It's water on rocks. Essentially, all corrode, but. Some time. Yeah. And then Yao's able to pick up level 5 by coming into this mid lane, too. Now, hopefully we'll, we'll see a little bit of difference between Yao and Clocks. Yao's clock compared to Jun's clock in game number two. Jun was like, the entire game we were asking him, is he gonna do anything? And then he had the Roshan steal, right? Like, yeah. But Yao, he had a very similar start. Doing nothing for the team. In fact, he has one more point to rocket flare than, uh, than Jun did. The difference is in this lineup, um, as and so, uh, that goes Weaver on the top lane. Looks like silence from Puck without a blink dagger. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, the difference between like, the clockwork in that game and this game is the fact that this clockwork is able to actually lock down heroes. It's not like support. you got three heroes who have escape mechanisms. Like you got ancient evolution sense, or Skyrath mage, as well as a little bit in way the Puck. <laughs> not, not really. Yeah. Just a little bit. Like if you can keep that stun going, it's like yeah. But the face shift has animation time, right? Nope. No animation time? It's instant. And I guess I take it out. Like, no, you can control three heroes. No, and Flame does have a link now, so... I'm also somewhat surprised that he actually, uh, mad warps. Obviously, that's generally a standard build. But, generally, a, like, a Weaver no. or a Blinker. I'm personally a big fan of, like... Two points to your orb and then maxing Raining Rift by, like, level eight. But, uh, it's, you know, personal it, it, This one is probably just going, we need to have... Like the the orb damage instead. I said she's supposed to deliver 280. You're not the exact same damage. Uh, uh, I I guess the argument is that you have demons on the uh, on the Skyrath mage. He, he's gonna provide the silence. But if there's if there's no difference, like you know, I'm not seeing like lower cooldown time or anything like that. Well, the thing is, the orb is much easier to harass the enemy behind. Where Raining Rift has you know all of uh, AOE, right? So yeah, that's why generally on the mid lane you max the orb first. Has a better cooldown, I believe. There's, there's. Oh, you mean for Rift? Rift versus. Uh, Rift at 12 seconds on Orb, 16 seconds. Yeah, on. yeah. So you could spam a little bit more. Looks like bottom lane prep is coming in. This time we won't miss the uh, the wink dagger or puck. I just missed it. He hasn't used that one yet. It was uh, for some reason. I don't know how that wink would die on the top lane. But yeah. So we have uh, Clockwork. Clockwork <laughs> movement from Lin. He's coming in, fire strike, and they go on the Centaur. He's a dragon ball very quickly, and 110 line points. The refine never to be used, so the nuke is still there from LGD. Putting like a new Fae Vault, and because they're actually running around Radiant's with Arcane Roots on this lineup, is the over on the Rubik. 
Reaper able to just force down these towers, force their advantage even more. SK is checking every single nook and crank with that blink dagger of his. He knows he can just hide mile. But also look what he did. I'm, I'm never 100% sure about this attack. from SK's. When the three points and instead of getting your epicenter. Radiance bottom oh, tower I can see argument. Attack. Is, no, you don't have enough mana anyway, so you should have a center. But honestly, you should therefore have sandstorm so necessary, because, especially after you got your blink dagger. I understand if you haven't got your blink dagger yet, your epicenter is not doing anything for you because you need it to initiate. But he had the blink. He dagger. had the blink. <laughs> that means if you have the blink, you don't really need that extra point of sandstorm to farm your blink. So, I mean, if there's a reason, like, if there's a reasoning, I'm not understanding it. No. Okay, well, they got to kill regardless. Follow me. It was a blink. Burr strike into a sandstorm for damage. It's the damage of sandstorm. And then man. DDC lift him up, so you know, there's that. Well, DDC also is walking around. Rubik is just so powerful at this point. And like, <laughs> I love this from Yao. Yo, Sanki, there's a double stack for you to farm up. He pings it out, so, yep. Blinking, straight sandstorm. Yao's gonna leave some of the experience as he's find his feet. Yep. But Rubik's walking around with so much control on level 6. And does he get more? Go way for There's I'd, the way he doesn't give a crap. There's no bad spell that you could take from Morphling. It's just so good. Like there's something in the entire game that you just you cannot take a bad spell. Ray King comes in. Viper Strike, guaranteed. No. And in this case, you know, for for DDC, it's a uh, Morph Ray Form Replicate, man. It's all good. Oh, yeah, yes, man. They, they're losing control of this game again. Like this is this is what you were talking about. Like, if you go for a 40 minute control game, you're gonna back LGD every single time. Yeah. CIS need to basically throw a caution to the wind and vein kills. And it's, it's kind of like not for the one. But they came down to that bottom lane searching for a kill. LGD just beat them punch. Yep. At the same time, you could argue that, you know, this is black style. Uh, in fact, he's gonna get raining rift, he's gonna get double silence up. It's a key kill. There he goes, DD. And it's gonna more importantly hit your Skyraf Mage to level 5. He needs to level, he needs to hit level 6 ASAP. How are we doing on AO's uh, experience? He's, he's, man. The level difference <laughs> is just <laughs> appalling. 5, then a 6, 7. But yeah. this is what happens like when you're on the semi jungle. And Rubik, he was actually like, he wasn't backing off from the Weaver. And that was the one downside for Rabbit and probably the reason why he's still a little bit behind the experience of the Morphling, um, who now just gave over Morph to DDC. So we now have four strength heroes over an LGD. Uh, that, like you had, uh, you had Weaver giving the experience to the Rubik. Rubik stayed on the lane with the Centaur, which is very close to the creep wave. And because of that, he found his very quick level six. And because of these early towers, he found very early arcane roots. Mm -hmm. Got the epicenter being channel on the top side. It's gonna come right in against him. Mm -hmm. oh, easy kill. Radiance top tower is under attack. Now he defocus towards the mid tower, and they will bring this tier, this tier one tower down. Buckle Coke's gonna block him. I heard it somewhere. In fact, it's gonna be going into the jungle. Ao gets picked off. Well, they had the site coming in because of the war deeper into enemy jungle. Mural Black's are gonna get through. We have a Dragon Tail coming in. The Dragon Nuke him. There's a lift as well, but he has strength morphing. Rabbit double silence up. He doesn't really care. In fact, they're gonna give they, a chase. They have they, sight they, on him. They got the Weaver bug on him. So why not have a crack Radiant's at him? Yeah. Rabbit's just gonna shoot a little bit closer, and Black will go down. Meanwhile, Black will the middle lane. The cops are being prepped up. In Blink is going to have a lot of arrives here. And he's going to walk a long way around now. Centaur, all the arrives with the cold dissipate, but Lynn, he's going behind the line. And the bar is right in from the SK, caught out in flames. There's the hook up though, but still three heroes down. Centaur's all in line, and double the goal here from DD. But every other hero is not bailed out here. The SK died. June, as she does get chased down by Rab. The jungle, and that's a triple kill for the Weaver. 3,000 gold is currently sitting on this guy after they take the last two tower of the IS. I just want to say that when you're teleporting three or four heroes under each other one, when the sinking blinked in, it surprised Radiant's me greatly. But that just goes attack. to speak that LGD is, if they feel like they can play aggressive, they play aggressive. They, they don't need to play a 40 minute game. You know, DDC dropping that double edge. Well, actually, he can drop that double edge for days now. He's got that strength morph. <laughs> He's like, I. Of life points to survive this one, shouldn't I? 1600 gold was he even by. Probably fish that magic wand would be a nice start. Dyer's yep, middle magic. tower is under attack. Finished. Straight Earn. up urn. Yeah. Dyer's I'm surprised that he didn't pick fortified. up like an armor item because he, he's already got so much HP. Like I would go for medallion myself. Yep. It helps. You know, you're weird dragonite a little bit. It'll help when they go in for Roshan finally. Yeah. And the passive armor, you know, when you're tanking it up in the front line. Mm -hmm.
And look at Rabbit's confidence too. It doesn't even feel like he needs the ring of help at the very, very start here. It's just straight into the old ob, sure. I mean, confidence or maybe fear against the silence is not... Put it. <laughs> More life points to survive this one. Yeah. But then again, you gotta start with those life points. But we've got a four man smoke off LDD and they head heading south. Now, there's nothing that's scouting this one out. They didn't see Smoke happen. However, the ping is out there from Skyrise Major. Pretty sure that was on the mark. And they realized to everybody is from mm LGD. -hmm. It's not so bad of smoke per se, because all the waves are semi pushed out aside from the mid lane. But yeah, it's just everybody missing off the map. That should be a telltale sign. Yeah. Rocket scouting in behind the tower. And LGD, like, okay, they don't find. Radiant's bottom kill, but they know 100% gonna kill the tower. Look where is at right now. They might find themselves a kill still. Mm. I mean, the trees. I, I don't know if that's really gonna be enough. Oh man, like, an epicenter is gonna cause some chaos, but CIS must commit to the fight. They must best walk past this line. Radiant's bottom tower okay, is well, under if attack. If you're gonna see a kill happen here. Radiant's now, fortification, okay, are, are they committing to this? Like, I'll see shot, just a little bit of slow down on the clock. Puck has managed to move up. Radiant's bottom and the tower is just under above attack. deny range. But now with DK's attack, Lin has actually brought this tower to deny range. Center being handled on sideline here. They're gonna go in right for deep demon oh. straight up. Dead tower is gonna get last. Radiant's bottom tower. And flame. Well, he's oh. actually pretty past June Flings. It's not a two man coil after a two man whip. They can try to do a DDC, but that's ring for <laughs> He's tanky. Go <laughs> by eventually. On the back line, he's gonna get hook shot. He's facing, but here goes Black. You have to wait for him. He's coming in hot, but it's gonna be the plug that dies first. Oh, and now Black being chased. He's straight morphing away. He does have rep. The Earl Strike's gonna come through. Does he have still mana enough to rep? Get out. He has temp charge. He should be fine. Yeah. Every, every, well, then again, if they can get themselves another blink Aura Strike, Black can respond. I had to go in too deep for that one. But you're right, man. That Rubik was just sitting on the front lines. Like the Colts came in, that was that was really stalled up the fight here for CIS. Dyer's the fact that these Colts went down on a choke attack. point again. <laughs> it's, it's not going to work unless they get high ground. And the puck, like the puck, will get involved. He was sitting up here in the tree line, yeah. and he got hit. He was up here, and he got hit. And he's like, "Well, what am I supposed to do now?" Because he couldn't blink himself down to be instantly part of the engagement anymore. So he had unfortunately poor Centaur to jump himself in to try and then like save the day. Uh, it just became a mess. It did. And this is where the worry begins uh, during the drafting phase for me. I was starting to pick up that BKB. You got one on DK. Clockwork, you got Mech. And might be BKB coming up next, of course. Rabbit, he's just going for the, the Lincoln's first. He's actually uh, almost got the money by oh, yeah. his recipes already on the courier going to the shop. Yeah, I just think that damn is starting to pull apart for, for CIS. Black on his farm check, he uh, also could have Lincoln's here, but obviously much, much slower compared to Weaver. This kind of almost feels too attack. late for Black to try and pick up a Lincoln skin. I know he kind of needs it, but there's so many other abilities over an LGD that we can it. I don't want to say he should just Scotty, but he kind of like a man. I may help him out a little bit more in these early attack. stages. So the, I don't think he'd go a defensive item if they wanted the DPS required, because that was what we were talking about. With all the other heroes from CIS, they needed the hero to do fallen. DPS. Yeah, Mobley was meant to beat that. Unfortunately, he can't do DPS in burst form, so he can't go elite up against this lineup. I mean, he can even get into the e-play like he's under attack. Yeah, but it, it, even then, like up against front LGD, there's four strength heroes. So they're all gonna tank him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they really can't do anything. That now, Centaur, he can actually get himself a double hoof stop on both Yao as well as the Vortex. So also reveal the fact they know where they are. Back it off. Yeah. I mean, usually LGD's in no hurry. They don't feel like they break high ground, they'll take a sleep. They can do a rush home soon. Yeah, like... Rabbit's already thinking at 1,000 gold after finishing his Lincoln's here only a minute ago. If they just give him some time, the Desolator will then drive over on the Weaver. Actually, would you see a Desolator for the Weaver, or would you actually want to see like, the full defense get the BKB? Um, I think since you're ahead, I think Deso is much a better choice, especially when you're starting to look for high ground. The armor value for these heroes from CIS are abysmal. Like, you know, the, the lack of armor on Skyrim Mage, on AA. I, I can go for this, though. DDC, he just, that's just a copy of the DKB made in middle lane. And I'm pretty sure DDC was really hoping that he was capable of uh, a copy here. Oh, Replicant? Yeah, if he can steal it. He, he seems sort of... But he also looks an the DDC DDC's at a point where he knows, as he plays safe for the next slides, 
you should be picking up his tag. Mm -hmm. And having that form of initiation is just going to be too good to like pass up. Maybe a force that would be bad. Like, uh, forcing your teammates away from that misplit or maybe a centaur stop. It just depends on what you want to think defensively or offensively, but again, they're winning so much. Maybe just a blink is just straight up offensive. Yeah, right? shit up better. Brandon used to farm up on the time. Clear water. Is he planting a curve? No, it's because he bought a TP to crawl. But in the like, last two minutes since I checked to him, he's never got the money for his fourth myth mithril ham. So he's still looking for him. And Black, is that Lincoln's fair over on the curry? No. And it is going to be Lincoln's fair build him. Mm hmm. And now Rabbit's going to just full super top lane. All Blink Burrow very quickly into the straight ones. Fear for Black. But he'll survive this. But it really just removes his presence from the top lane. Now, I can say that Yao had a hook shot. Oh, and he actually got oh, him. Oh, with the cold burn back, he has to wait for down. Rabbit's about to chase me. So, you know what? Five heroes. Then Toss trying to get some kind of trade off here on the bottom. Radiant structures trying to deal with Yao. And we have Blipping Aboard. They're not even going to get that power because uh, Sanking's already attack. back. Thank you, Kaka. That's bottom awesome. tower is under attack. attack. One more weapon. Well, Radiant's nice top tower has fallen. No. Oh, but then they're checked. <laughs> On the lane of Pink Burrow, followed Epicenter. <laughs> and the tower is I think you need a fever quest. Looks like the tower. Hello. It's gonna get the kill. Hello, kill him. Yeah. He can send them. I was able to light himself away with, with a fall. Off of her on DD. He would have just kept chasing the whole way. I don't wish no way to get out. Uh, that one. This is also like CIS that they tend to push it too far. He had no vision on the side of the jungle apart from this one of them on top lane. That's the only vision they have inside the enemy jungle, and the one is just watching the top rune here. Mm -hmm. They see nothing on the bottom. They're blind completely inside their own jungle. Fresh observed wall went down, cost us the mid lane. That's it. Normally, when uh, you're when the enemy is putting your cheer tower top, <laughs> that's fine. You think so? Well, they're all pushing our towers. It's a safe push on the bottom tower, right? Yeah. They accept the trade. And that's where Dee punished him, so. And you're not even going to be looking like Dee like, you saw him when, he was, when they're pushing the tier 2 tower on the bottom lane. He was hiding inside the trees. Mm -hmm. So even if you want to come out and find it, you ought to use, like, Puck Orbs or a Orbs in order to actually scout that kind of stuff out. Oh, Puck is coming over. There's a Hazen with Blink Dagger, and Roshan's not fully dead yet. And Yao stands up on the ground. Shots in, and he gets in. Two heroes here, so both AA as well as Centaur drop. The Cyrus basically did not make it an easy for them, however. Oh, Puck, these bugs in the back tail of him, and what was stolen? No, it's a face shift. Um, that's all he's really got. With a Blink Dagger in DD, with the Boris Rike, with the Fame Hold, they also Skyrath. Getting called out in the trees. And Black's the only one to survive for CIS right now. They'll go back in LGD, finish up. And then look to move towards the ground. Yeah, I mean, you can even go for a half round straight up if you want to, but since Roshan's solo anyways, might as well just finish it. The way that Dragon Knight swings up, he's getting shit mid, sir. He just, game is gonna be finished. Roshan he's thinking himself. I don't think he's thinking about our Just get high side. Yeah. Get high ground, that's all I need, all I need to do. And there's that Weaver, Deso. So good for pushing that high ground. Oh, yeah. And that's that's gonna start to rip apart heroes like Skywrath. Like we still do, do we dare bring up the hero man with the levels? See the no, three just, heroes to CIS. Just us go cast it. Leave the leave the gold graph hidden. Let them make their own decision about it. But they're definitely getting rid of Angar Sanking. He ain't dying either. <laughs> that's what a lot better than a PL. No, he's gonna they don't there. Adapt oh, uh, okay, okay. Just Lumi? kidding. Custody? Oh, Did you? Just, just kidding. Did you? I I mean I thought he could force him away, but yeah. <laughs> he could have, but there was a trap. There was a good trap by CIS. Now, remember, it looks like he doesn't care. The SK is dead. Like, get that quickly into into his wall. Who now waveforms out Dragon Tail? I thought that was going to come quick enough before he's had a. Like, for some reason, too, June. Okay, there's just like blood spilt. Was that the Rubik? Did he take double edge? No. I'm not sure what that I, I just saw a blood patch, like, back, in, back inside the well. It's like. I'm in the month for Centaur. You know why? DDC has a replicate, so he makes a DK of his own. Flip <laughs> the hill and start splashing that tower. <laughs> nice way to do it. And then, of course, you got to remember, too, Ruby's got his blink dagger. So it's oh. initiation. Oh, it's not bad for the Weaver. Remember, he can soak up everything. That's happy. He's got the egg of Seymour. 
They and don't really Lincoln. care about that. Right now, LGD just want to force the towers. SK coming back in. LGD also happy not to, not to fight just yet. SK is now in range that LG, LGD can initiate. They're fine with this now. But the DK form is wearing them. And then stop. Good for Rabbit. And he can come SK. Far as right goes in the edge there. He very quickly silence up there from the scum age. But four stuff down to bait the A ulti. And Rabbit, the Aegis he wanted will trigger here. But the BKB is also going from Lin. They couldn't finish off June. Clockwork looking for the hook shot. Okay, that was a little bit deep. Radiance the middle tower. Has the other fallen. tower. LGD probably aren't feeling enough confidence to keep this going. No. Even then, Rabbit, okay, he's saying screw it. We bring down the range rank. We came here to bring down the house. Radiance and they're going to attempt this. Yeah, zero attempt. dropping very low, very quickly. One last. Oh, they need, don't don't get it. Huge ultimate's gonna come in. Yao's gonna take a little bit with his blade mouser and Epicent on the back line here. And it looks like June's gonna go down as of the range rack. And that is gonna be opening to the door of the melee racks. And because six tier twos are down, I think they just go to the bottom lane as well. Yeah, they, they can go for doubles right now if they want to. They did lose the DK, however. So at this point, when LGD is sitting here going, well, CIS have already taken one game off us. This was an insult, a disgrace. So now we must make Maybe. sure that it is not actually happening again. Maybe not that bad. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I mean, it's, it's Oh, that shout, or Rabbit just took that DD. I mean, DK still have a double, uh, the bottle. Should have just maybe pass a bottle over, or... DD will win the game. Faster. Right. At the same time, I think LGD is sitting in a position where, like, well, we've already... The game. Yeah, like, like that's 16, yeah. almost 17,000 net worth on a Weaver. Who's got another 2 point okay, gold up his sleeve. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they have, they have a real problem at all. Hopefully coming back in. This tier one tower in him. They have a, a score to settle. But all he gets. Oh, it's him. He jumps. Still DD Weaver. No matter how they silence him, that's still a DD Weaver. Oh. And DD, he tricked Lincoln's fear. June will jump in. Rabbit, Woo. get in there and help your teammate, man. Oh. DC, he's got a hoofstomp stolen from before. He's going to try and steal the Centaur roll. And what he just get? He did not stampede. They're coming in. Forest is on top of June. The Skyrise man to ulti will fly out, but already the con. He will die now. The ancient apparition only would have finished off if that attack from the Morphling didn't do so. So these vortexes make it very difficult to follow in, but DD, look at the damage. One charge will keep AO alive a little bit longer, but then last hit will come in. It's a double kill for Rabbit and they got another one. Demons, DDC, it's a perfect controller. Demons will get dropped. This will be a double rag sync. I don't know if they even want to call out UG right, but Black is currently, well, he's doing what he can. He's creeping. He's doing what he can for the Radiant's team, but uh, the he can't pop the bottom one anyway. No, no. He, yeah, the bottom tower is going to go down. Radiant's Range rack first. Maybe no, the melee max first. Blink Bart. Alrighty, they're tricking Lincoln's feet with the Dragon Tail, and then they follow up, and that is now Ruby some kills. He just sees Solon can come. I do, and then June locked inside the Cogs. Morphling plays back in this one. The AO will fly on both DDC as well as DD. Lin's here for the lines, they just don't want to come at any further. Again, hooks off stolen, so DP, he's got full dagger, he can stop getting attacked. Um, off cooldown, so he can jump in for initiation. Now he's searching for. Oh. Blink, hooks off, telling his pick, they walk out the Tyrant Mage ulti. Black is down after his buyback, they can AO, and that is it. GG! LGG will be the one team qualifying out from the Chinese qualifier PI4 and CIS still massive props and they beat down the second favorite which was Dreamtime in the match early today they will still go but in the wildcard tournament yeah CIS maybe feeling should feel much more confident about themselves people rate them being one of the best teams in China but they're looking like it right now yeah and the victory over LG game three that's one of the more impressive victories I've seen in quite